Good morning, I'm Eliza Petrie with your Ag in an Instant. Let's begin with a look at the market movement we saw last week. Both corn and soybean prices decreased, with December corn down 13 cents, ending at $4.64. Then January soybeans went down about 3 cents, ending at $13.48. And the reason for this recent dip in the markets is the November World Agricultural Supply and Demand report telling us that farmers from all across the nation saw higher yields than expected for harvest, meaning we have more supply than we thought we would. And soybeans are taking flight with the USDA recently finding a new way to use soybeans fuel for planes. This will create a new market for soybeans, which will increase demand. Good news for our farmers. And using soybeans for aviation fuel is also a sustainable option, which is good news for the environment. Legislators are flying on making this a reality. This past week, a group of representatives put together the Farm to Fly Act, meant to promote the production of sustainable aviation fuel. And while Veterans Day has passed, there is a way you can support veterans that are farmers all year round. When you visit the grocery store or a farmer's market, look for a label that looks just like this. Homegrown by Heroes is a brand developed by the Farmer Veteran Coalition. Farmers that have served our country receive this verified logo so consumers can know those products are grown or produced by a military veteran. But whether you are a veteran that farms or not, thank you for your service. For your Ag in an Instant, I'm Eliza Petrie.